Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, we are going to learn what an if statement is, and we're going to create a simple program with an if statement, which we're then going to upgrade with an if, else if, else if, else statement that takes care of multiple options. So let's just go back to our very simple greeting program. So we can just go and print something like hello human what is your name and when it indents like that you know you made a mistake. Um, so we can have name saved as an input and then I can use inputs in more traditional ways. So this is where things get interesting and we can use our first ever if statement. And this is the structure of the if statement. If inside these brackets is some condition, something that's either true or false. So condition. And if that is true, then whatever is indented here, all of these all of this code is going to get executed. If this is not true, the computer is just going to go to the next line and ignore the if condition completely. So let's um, make a simple observation here. Name equals to Sanyin. So if name is equal to Sanyin, ah, computer can give me a customized greeting, which I'm going to make a bit interesting. Ah. It's you again. So, right here is a custom greeting, and here is the end of the program. Pro, or maybe I can just print the end. So, if we type in anything other than Sanyin for the name, and by the way, I just assigned Sanyin to the name, and thankfully the error came up in many programming languages no error is going to come up and this is really going to put a spanner in your works you need a double equals so a double equals gives you a, a, can, a sort of a, an output which is either true or false so just like that example if x equals to five you know x double equals anything bob is either going to return true or false except Bob is a variable name so if, if x double equals to some string Bob BPB that's false if x double equals to any number that's not 5 that's false but if x double equals to 5 and it's a perfect match then that's true and this double equals is a condition this is also a condition x is bigger than 2 that's also true Okay, so let's run this thing. Hello human, what is your name? And I'm gonna say Sanyin. Ah, it's you again, Sanyin. The end. And if I run this, and I say Bob, the end. So it simply ignores this line of code. So the way you can add an alternative is else, and then you can maybe do a custom greeting, print good to meet you plus name so now if it's Bob good to meet you Bob the end so the last thing that we have to integrate if I bring back up our learning intentions is an if else if branching structure so let's say that this program now can recognize multiple users. Um, let's say Sanyin, Bob, and Alice are all sort of, um, you know, familiar to the artificial intelligence. And anyone else is going to get this generic good to meet you greeting. Okay, let's have a look at that scenario. So we have, instead of else we can have an elif statement this 
is going to be just like another if statement. And we can say name double equals to Bob. So that's going to be a custom response. And you can add another one. And this is, oops. I was going to say this is a good opportunity to do some copying and pasting. And it went wrong. And we can add Alice here. And Bob's going to say, hey, Bob. How's it been? It's a friendly AI. Alice? Alice, you are the best ever of all time. And maybe, why not for the final option? Print. I don't know you. What's name plus go away. All right. When I teach sort of primary aged students, they always make it the meanest kind of computer to talk to. Okay, let's test this out. So we're going to test all three scenarios. Sunyan, it should be a custom greeting. Hello, it's you again, Sunyan. Good. All right, we're going to try Bob. Hey, Bob, how's it been? Now we're going to try Alice. Alice, you're the best ever of all time. Great. And finally, we're going to try some... One else. I don't know you, someone else, go away. Good, good, perfect. And just one last thing worth trying out. What would happen if it was if, 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 else? Maybe some of you already know, but then this if else is a package. The I don't know you go away is an alternative to Alice. So what's gonna happen is that in a system where we should only get one greeting, we, you know, a custom greeting for Sanyan, a custom greeting for Bob, a custom greeting for Alice, or a generic meeting for anyone else, look what would happen if in this program we said Sanyan. Ah, it's you again, Sanyan. But because this is only an alternative to Alice, it'll respond to Sanyin, and then it'll say, aha, it's not Alice, and then it'll say, go away. And this is why the if, elif, elif, else is the correct coding structure. Okay, that's all. See you in the next tutorial. The tutorial is part of a series called Python Fundamentals. Check out the links below for the YouTube playlist and Udemy online course.